Welcome back to this tutorial series for Total RP3 Extended Campaign Creation. In this episode, we'll mostly talk about workflows, which are the processes through which your campaign functions. Once we've seen how to design workflows, we'll introduce the two main ways to easily trigger a workflow. Actions and campaign-specific events. Finally, I will highlight some of the effects you will use to build your campaign. Workflows are made of three types of blocks. Effects, conditions, and delays. When a workflow is triggered, blocks will be read and executed from top to bottom. You can always change the block's order with the little arrows at the top right of each block. Delays are pretty self-explanatory. When this block is reached, it will start a countdown and pause the workflow until the countdown is finished. You can display delays as a spell cast or make them interruptible on movement. If you enable the latter, the rest of the workflow won't play if you interrupt the delay. Effects are everything that you want to execute. It can go from displaying a text on the screen to playing a cutscene or adding an item to player's RP inventory. Those are organized in categories and you will see each effect's description when you hover on any of them. Conditions let you adapt the workflows to the situation, and can be added in two ways. The first one will be as a block. If the condition isn't met when the block is reached, the workflow will stop and the blocks below won't be executed. If you just want to add a condition for a single effect, you can control click to add a condition for this block only. If the condition isn't met upon reaching the block, the workflow will skip it and go on with the rest of the workflow. To allow players to interact with NPCs or the environment, there are four actions that you can configure. Talk, listen, inspect and interact. Those actions are displayed to the player in a small toolbar when he has a target and a campaign active. They can also be accessed even without target by right-clicking the quest button on the main toolbar. You can make macros for these actions by clicking on the arrow in the top right corner of the campaign page. Before adding an action, you need to decide how long you want that action to have the same effect. If you want an NPC to give the same answer every time the player talks to him through the whole campaign, you should add that action at the campaign level. However, if you want the player to listen to a conversation at a specific quest step, you should add that action in that specific quest step. You cannot link an action to a workflow that isn't on the same level, so you need to plan this before making the workflow. To create an action and link it to a workflow, you have to go in the Actions tab at the relevant level. You can click on Add an action and select in the drop-down menu the type of action and the workflow you want to link. In this state, the workflow will trigger whatever the target or the situation you will probably need to add conditions to that action to make it work the way you want. To add conditions to actions, you can control click on the action as you do in the workflows. This will lead you to the conditions window when you can edit under what circumstances you want the action to trigger your workflow. Campaign specific events are tied to the flow of your campaign. They are accessed in the left part of the events tab. Depending on the level you are considering, you have access to different events. On a quest step, for example, you can run a workflow when the step starts or when it ends. Just like actions, you cannot link events to workflows that are not on the same campaign level. To link a workflow, you just have to select it in the drop-down menu under that specific event. There are a lot of effects available so we won't go into details on each of them. With that said, we can quickly go through the ones specific to campaigns. Reveal Quest 
will add the specific quest to the quest log and in the objectives, and allow the player to advance through this quest. Change quest step allows you to change the active step for a revealed quest. It's usually used to advance the quest once the player has completed the task controlled by the step. Reveal quest objective will add the specified quest objectives to the objectives displayed on the right of the player's screen. Complete objective will strike the specified quest objective and add a check mark to it. The last two objectives allow you to start cutscenes. We will keep them for later. This concludes the second part of our campaign creation tutorial. Next time, we'll talk about game events, variables and cutscenes. Take care.